My wife, Genevieve, has five dogs. And every day I have to take them out for an airing. If you ever see those dogs, you'd know they needed an airing. You can tell that without looking at them. Everybody who comes to the house notices those dogs the first thing. Sometimes when the windows are open and Genevieve's pa is smoking, they don't notice the dogs so quickly. But as soon as you close the windows, the visitors look bewildered for a minute, and then they say, well, I guess I'll be going now. One of the dogs is white with a whole lot of black spots. He's got those spots to fool you so you can't tell which spot to kick him on. I kicked him on the wrong spot once, and my toe was sore for a week. Genevieve says he's a coach dog, but I don't believe it. I think he's a hearse dog because he's all black and white. The second dog is a black and tan. I wore out two pair of shoes on him, black and tan. Mary, the third one, is a dachshund, and she's built on the same graceful lines as an alligator. Every time she tries to catch a flea, she ties a couple of knots in herself, and I have to untangle her. You don't have to be a high kicker to kick her. She's the lowest dog what is, and long. You know that song, So Long, Mary? Well, the fellow who wrote So Long, Mary got the idea from this dog. When she comes in the house, you've got to hold the door open for her, and if it's a cold day, you can catch pneumonia, die, and be buried before she's all in the house. The fleas that live on her southern exposure ain't never seen her head. Why, a good lively flea would die of old age before he could make the trip. The first time I kicked her, it was two days before she found it out. The fourth dog's name is Reginald. Genevieve named him after her first husband. Yes, but she treats him much better. He's a greyhound and runs some speed to that boy. He can run from one end of the dock sun to the other in almost a minute and a half. The fifth dog, his name is Henry. He's a chicken hound. Yes, a genuine Switzerland chicken hound. Genevieve says they use those chicken hounds in the Alps to find the chickens when they get lost in the Edelweiss. Henry's a bird, all right. I call him Hen for short. He sits by the fire all day, and every night I find him laying in my bed. Genevieve makes all those dogs sleep with me. She says the dogs need company. When I get into bed, the dog that Genevieve calls the coach dog starts running up and down under the bed like he's following a wagon. The dachshund wraps itself around my neck, and the black and tan sits on my chest and scratches himself, and the chicken hound lays on my head, and the greyhound, who's lying on his side with his foot against me, dreams he's chasing a rabbit and scratches all the skin off of my solar plexus. Then they all bark, wake up Genevieve, and she comes in and kicks me for disturbing her pet. There are five fine hounds, but I'm going to buy me a six-shooter. Marriage may be all right for some people, but when you got to sleep with a lot of dogs that have got a taste for etymology, the marriage vows are all off. <laughs>